Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you today how to use my three-step protocol for the Green Ruby Wellness Mouth Spa. So the first step is step one, and what you are going to want to do is take your toothbrush, your soft bristle toothbrush, and dip it into water, run it under water, give it a little shake, and then open up step one, dip your toothbrush in, and then brush like normal. And what I mean by normal is to brush at a 45 degree angle and very, very gently. So a lot of people, myself included, what I used to do is brush pretty aggressively because in my mind I was thinking, if you brush harder, you're doing a better job. However, that is the completely the opposite case when it comes to brushing your teeth because gentle is better because we are wanting to really pay attention to our gums and to make sure that we're not causing any gum recession by brushing them away too vigorously. So using your toothbrush at a 45 degree angle and paying attention to every single one of your of your teeth from the front teeth all the way to the back you're going to be wanting to put just as much of attention and also on the inside as well. So, so in the front and then also on the inside, on the bottom and the top, so every tooth you're paying attention to. And then you can spit it out and then you can use step two. And step two is the alkaline rinse. So with that, what you're wanting to do is pour the alkaline rinse into a little cup or a shot glass and swish it around your mouth for about 20 seconds. So just like you would normally with your mouthwash, and then you can spit that out. If you feel that there is a little bit of residual still of step one, if you're using the charcoal, uh, charcoal one for whitening, then you may want to do two rinses of your alkaline rinse. Um, just use your judgment with that. So once you're done step two, what I like to do is the flossing and the tongue scraping next. And some people like to do the flossing and the tongue scraping at the beginning. It's your call. Whatever you feel uh, works best for you and makes sense to you in your mind, just do that. I mean, the bottom line is floss and do tongue scraping at some time during this routine. <laughs> so um, that is what I recommend. So for me, I do it after step two. And when I do my flossing, I take a long floss, so probably about up to my elbow, so at least this long. And the reason why I make sure that it is so long, because you are wanting to use a fresh piece of floss for every bit that you do in between your teeth. You are not wanting to move any bacteria or anything around your mouth. So some people are using the um, like little tiny picks. And those are fine for throughout the day if you are out for, for a meal or something and you just want something quick, totally okay. But for your main um, oral health routine at the end of the day or beginning of the day, please use a long piece of floss for that because we are not wanting to move around any bacteria. And then, so the, um, the tongue scraping is a Ayurvedic technique which is amazing for making your breath really smell good, for taking any bacteria that is on your tongue, and also for helping you, I'm sorry, that's my dog, and also for helping you um, taste your food better as well. So for a million reasons, tongue scraping is a really, really good um, thing to do, uh, minimum once a day. So how you do this is you put your tongue scraper at the back of your tongue, press down firmly and then pull out. And you can do this once or twice and you'll notice that there is a little residue on your tongue scraper and that's just all the bacteria and buildup that is coming off. So it's actually very um, satisfying when you see that because you can see um, what you are doing and what you're taking off. So the last step, step three, um, that is the oil pulling and this is I mean, they're all, they're all my favorite steps, but maybe this is like my most favorite step because this one is when I would encourage you to do the meditation or the um, taking the time to do some affirmations as well because I would encourage you to do the oil pulling for minimum one minute 
um, up to 10. Um, however long you have, or you can carve out time for, please do. The longer the better, honestly. Um, so in your kit, you may see that there is a little sticker of um, some affirmations that you can put onto your mirror, um, or you could use some YouTube videos that you find that are inspiring, or even just saying something to yourself that you feel at this moment is really uh, pressing and you feel called to to say to yourself, because there's you know a lot of people feel that you know I don't have time to do the affirmations or to do meditation. However, if you're going to be looking after your oral health, this is built in to the system, to the three-step system, is taking some time for some self-care. So while you're doing step three, swishing the oil in your mouth, um, much like you would do step two, so just like that, you're pulling it in between your teeth and it's getting everywhere in your mouth. And this is what is so important because brushing your teeth with step number one or with any, just brushing your teeth in general is not getting all of the surface of your mouth. So you're not really cleaning um, all of your mouth, but when you are using step one or step two and step three, that's what's getting everywhere and what's healing. And the oil, again, um, like I said, it's an Ayurvedic technique protocol and it is so healing it helps you whiten your teeth freshen your breath heal your gums any any kind of dry mouth it's pulling the bacteria out of your body and then you spit it out and you can spit it out into the trash or into the toilet um, when you're done but you are wanting to just do this for as long as you can to really maximize the effects effectiveness of this um, and if you feel called to, you could also take a little bit of step three and then massage it into your gums at the end of the evening. And that should be something that is the last thing that you do before you go to sleep. So you can feel, or you can feel, or your body can have the healing um, all night. Uh, so that is something that I would recommend as well. And I'm also gonna be coming out with a, a night treatment as well. Um, to to help facilitate that as well, some extra healing for the nighttime. So that is a little summary of step one, two, and three. And I hope you love the product as much as I do. And I am so excited to hear how this has helped you. And um, please get in touch with me if you have any questions at all. And uh, thank you again. All right, I'll talk to you later.